you want to talk a little bit about gut health? Sure. Okay. okay. So probiotics, of course, are friendly microorganisms that inhabit your gastrointestinal tract. And some of you may have heard of them and some of you may not. But in the gut, there is a balance that's healthy between bad guy microbes and good guy microbes, right? And we're starting to learn more and more how much of your immune system is um, influenced by what's going on in your gut. Interestingly, mental and emotional health is also influenced by what's going on in the gut. A lot of people don't realize this, but serotonin is actually produced in the gut. And, you know, if you don't have a good gut, you're going to tend more toward depression and those kinds of things. But to go back, it's not as simple as just taking a probiotic and putting good guys into the gut. That's good. But the question is, how do we get that balance to establish, right? And I want you to understand that there's two huge factors that influence whether you are a breeding ground for the bad guys, there's a frat party going on in your gut, right? Or whether you're unfriendly to those bad guys, but the good guys have a friendly environment. So one of those things is pH, which is your acid and alkaline balance. We test that with saliva. There's different ways you can do pH testing. But basically, if these are the bad guys, these are the good guys, the bad guys survive better in an acidic environment, the good guys can't get a foothold. When you're more alkaline, the good guys thrive, the bad guys can't get as much of a foothold. Second factor is oxygen, okay? And that's where exercise comes in and that's where the condition of your blood cells comes in. So your red blood cells, you know, circulate oxygen throughout your body. So if you're not moving and circulating, you're gonna have some stagnation there. If your iron's a little bit low, your B12's a little bit low, you uh, need more antioxidants, which are vitamins that protect you from damage, then your blood cells are not as efficient of delivering oxygen. So again, going back here, bad guys are anaerobic. That means they thrive without oxygen. Good guys love oxygen. So if you are acidic and not well oxygenated, you can take probiotics all day long and they just can't get a foothold in your gut. And then we're gonna talk about uh, fiber as well because that is the other factor to a healthy gut. You have to ferment your own microbes in your own gut. And it's a very, very fascinating um, turn of, of research that we've had in, in recent years where we've always thought just a, a more abundance and more abundance of probiotics. But um, I'm gonna give you guys a special recipe to help the good guys flourish in your gut. And this comes from an osteopathic doctor in the UK named Michael Ash. He's a huge, huge researcher in, uh, in the gut and ecology and how we get this, it's called a microbiome. What's growing in your body, you know? And when the bad guys are in charge, you're gonna get sick more frequently, tired more frequently, et cetera. So let's, do the Vanna Act again. Mm -hmm. This is Dr. Ash's recipe for a healthy gut. You might just take a picture of it, you know, of the screen. But we do um, six peeled cooking apples, uh, organic if you can find them, and cut them up. Half a cup of water and two teaspoons of cinnamon. And you just put that on low to medium heat. You're gonna stir it frequently. And it takes about 10, 15 minutes the apples start breaking down and it is some of the most delicious applesauce you've ever had in your life. It's interesting, if you use red apples, it's actually too sweet. If you use Granny Smith or some other kind of you know, green cooking apple, it's amazing how sweet it tastes when you're done. But if you eat this for dessert after dinner each night, half a cup or so for an adult, um, obviously less than that for a child, depending on the size of the child, you will start having an environment where those good guys can start holding on and also you will ferment your own good guys. Awesome. So is this kind of analogous to eating fermented foods or are you kind of like... It's different. Okay. Uh -huh. Fermented foods are foods that are already, like the food itself starts to contain the microbes. Mm -hmm. So um, kefir and 
you know, kimchi and things like that that you ferment, um, those are good. But Dr. Ash's research is showing that if you ferment your own inside your own body, instead of letting the yogurt or whatever ferment it in the food, that you actually get more of what you need. We're all so unique. We're mm -hmm. each very, very different. And so um, it, it's fascinating to watch, but you definitely, you can eat fermented foods, but the fiber and fermenting your own is super important. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, one other question, quick question related to this, because I know a lot of people probably are wondering as well, and people tell me, oh gosh, you know, I have such a sugar addiction and stuff like that. Mm. Can you talk a little bit about uh, does sugar and, and high carbs, high starches have an effect on your gut uh, as well with the bad microbes? Yes. So the bad guys love sugar <laughs> as much or more than we do. <laughs> and so, yeah, if you're tending toward growing the bad guys, um, the more sugar you eat, the more you're going to feed them, the happier they're going to be. And so cutting back on refined sugars as a first step and, you know, it just kind of depends on where you are in the journey because it is... A process to go from the typical American diet you know and, and lifestyle to get healthier and healthier and healthier um, so if you try to do that too fast it's discouraging you miss your favorite foods etc so take a step get adjusted to that okay good now I'm ready for another step um, but sugar is one of the biggest um, you know nemesis of the good guys in your gut that's right and you know um, you know, if you guys do need help with that process, certainly feel free to reach out to me. Mm -hmm. If you're in the Atlanta area, you know, reach out to Deb. She, um, her website is nature-heals.com, nature-heals, H-E-A-L-S.com. And that's what we're here for, to help you guys overcome the, you know, the, those challenges when it comes to changing your lifestyle. Mm 